Welcome back, everyone, to the Suncorp Stadium. Nicknamed the Cauldron here in downtown Brisbane in the state of Queensland. After a three-year hiatus, the Nitro World Games finds a new home here on Australian soil. As the sun sets, we fire up the lights, and the party vibe keeps rolling here as we get set to kick off our first freestyle motocross event of the night. It is the FMX final. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth. I am now joined by Jackson Strong in this event being brought to you by Lego City. Not only do we have our podium, we have our Lego City Innovation Awards to hand out here tonight. But before we get to FMX Final, let's check in with Caroline Buchanan and Travis Pastrana. I'm Caroline Buchanan. We're down here, the nun of himself, Travis Pastrana. We're about to kick off FMX. The hype that has just come from the triples is insane. We're about to roll into this next category. Can you talk us through the three ramp setups? Yeah, I mean, first off, who enjoyed BMX triple hit? Those guys absolutely sent it. I just absolutely blew my mind. But now we have FMX, and this is cool because we have three completely new ramps. The smallest ramp, that's the one we've used all the time. Now we've got a Levi ramp that the guys have an option to do even bigger uh, to a little bit of a softer landing. So if they want to send it, that's the one to go to. But the moon booter, what we only use for FMX best trick, is used in freestyle. And then they're adding more height to the moon booter for FMX best trick tonight. It is is going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see what these guys throw down. Two runs, crowd get behind these riders. FMX is about to kick off. Well, there you go. What a beautiful sight as the sun sets there behind the skyline of Brisbane here in Queensland. Well, Jackson, we're used to seeing you out there competing in these events. However, it is an honor to have you here calling the action with me in the booth here today. We have five riders in the field. What are some of the things the judges are gonna be looking for as we get into this event? It's gonna be a crazy event tonight, Jimmy. I think we're gonna, we're definitely gonna see some innovation, especially in best trick later on. So definitely very excited. I think that, uh, I think I'd rather be down there than up here watching everyone though, because the tension's pretty high and I get nervous. So yeah, so in this one, we have five, five riders in the field, and basically out of those two runs, it's the best run that counts, and the judges are working off a 100-point scale, but there's some criteria that they're working through. There's certain things that these riders are gonna have to do. You're gonna get seven hits out here in your runs, but they're looking for certain criteria. You have to do certain types of jumps in your run. They're looking for style execution, and uh, and I guess who, who brings the biggest game? It's all about who's going to throw down the hardest and ride right away wheels down. Traditionally, in, in our best trick, we normally see the, the biggest stuff happening in the first run, and then the second, if they, you know, that, that's the, um, the backup. But normally, it's... Are we in? Oh, this is... So Benny is Richards here, is yeah, my pro here. This is your boy right here. This is, this is my protege. protege. This is it. This is him. Him and Tom Richards, his brother, absolutely ripped. So we saw a massive Porto flip, followed up by a massive ruler flip on the Levi ramp. Next gen, what have we got? This is the whip. Upright, double grab in. He makes that look so smooth. I don't know how he does that with so much style. I definitely didn't teach him that. Just the great extension right there. So again, you're going to need a right side up trick. You're going to have to hit the next gen ramp. You're going to have to do a whip combo. There's two different flip combos. Oh, huge. Heart attack indie flip, perfect style. That trick's hard, especially off, uh, off that ramp extra. If you miss that grab, you, uh, you're, uh, you're having an early night, put it that way. They're also looking for a flip innovation uh, as well as an innovation. It's a win, big, huge. He's got some style. He's definitely got style. Ben, he's, got, he's, de he's up there with the stuff, most style in this whole, whole contest. So just easy to watch. Yeah, you want to have those big tricks, but you want to have the style as well. So again, it's going to be seven hits for each one of these riders. No and hand that holding that thing off for some time there. What have we got? We're coming around to the moon boot of this ramp. This is something else. I know Benny's been working a lot on double flips here the last couple of years. So let's see if he can pull it out. Just see him right there playing to the crowd, taking the hand off the bars and waving everyone, trying to pump it up right there. Check at that. Look at the height on this thing. 
smear the silk, yeah, Benny. How about that? We're starting off a freestyle comp, and at the end of the first run, he just throws a double backflip like it was nothing. Unreal. Benny's really good at not cracking under pressure. He, can, he just keeps it cool, cool, calm, and just collects, and that's what he did here tonight. So again, we talked about the criteria of the different jumps. You don't have to do them in any particular order. You just have to go through that criteria that we talked about. And if you don't do that, you try to double up on one of these things, the judges are going to deduct you. How's this KOD flip? Huge. To do that trick the right way up that big is something else. Benny just, he's, again, he's got the style. He's got it. Look at that. Perfect. He's easy to watch. I sit there and watch him ride all day. I do sit there and watch him ride all day, but watch this. Bang, spots a landing, tucks her in, sits there. Sits there, fat, dumb and happy, doesn't even do anything and just coasts it in. Uh, that was just calm, cool and collected right there. Just another day at the office on the double backflip right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Put us up there. They're working Early on run. This is going to set a bar here. 90.66. How good. We're in the 90s to start it off right there. Good so. boy. Benny had his debut at X Games this year and he did really well. He put together a solid run, double flip the super kicker there. And, uh, you know, having the moon booter, the, the new ramp, it just makes it so, it's open so many more doors to, uh, to freestyle. It's always He's rough too, being the first one to start off a comp right there. You're just kind of wondering what the judges are going to be looking for and how they're going to deduct or reward for certain things. And to come out here in the opening run and put down a 90.66, that was huge right there. Taking a look at our next competitor right here, another Australian in the mix. He's a Nitro World Games rookie. We're getting set to unleash Dylan McDonald on the course here. Pretty excited to watch Dylan ride. Traditionally, he's more of like a free rider guy. You see him out jumping, you know, the bigger dirt hits and. And he's definitely got talent on a, on a motorcycle. He can, can ride really good. And I, I'm very excited for this one, Jimmy. He doesn't have some of the big double flip tricks and stuff, so it's going to be interesting to see how he scores. He's got the talent, though. It's all there. You can see right there that he's got the trick selection uh, taped to the bar pad right there as he rides around, giving the fans here inside the Suncorp Stadium a wave right there. So again, seven jumps in each one of these runs. They're going to get two runs each. We're working on that 100-point scale. It's best run that counts. You kind of, you know, you got to move around a little bit here because we got this uh, layout set up in between all the uh, different features here inside the stadium here. So we here we see Dill starting on the starting on the next gen. This is something new. That's an interesting strategy right there. Want to get that next gen one out, out of the way? Out of the way. Maybe he's, he's nervous for the next gen, or he's wanting to save his energy for the to uh, for, for something later in the run. So let's see. Yeah, that thing is. I mean, it just sent you. I mean, that's what you look at that thing, and they've added more to it here at this event as well to give it an extra pop on that lip right there. So waiting to get the green light here for Dylan McDonald for his first out of two. Again, if you're just joining us, Benny Rich set the bar with a 90.66 with a very technical, clean, and well-executed first run. Here comes Dylan McDonald. Smooth, smooth. He's got a, Dill's on a, Dill's riding a 450, so Benny was on the 252 stroke. A lot less power than Dill, so on the bigger bikes, they are probably a little bit easier to get over some of the jumps, but it's also easy to go a lot longer. Whip, there he goes. So he's Just take that box, that was nice. The right side of very right side up variation as well as the whip, so two down, five to go here for his first attempt. Coming around into the next gen again. KOD, look through, huge textbook. Don't think it's quite going to sit up there near Benny's run, definitely not, but he's... Uh, He's doing what he can out there. He's just putting the visor into the front fender on that last hit right there. No hand flip. Maybe a little deep there on the uh, on the 75. Come around. He's moving his uh, moving his steering stabilizer up there. So we're probably going to see a no hand flip here, or his hands are going to come off the bars. He's tightening his steering up. What do we got there? A whip flip? Don't know what that was. It looked. Uh, De definitely something interesting. It's going to be a tough one for the judges there. I think he was trying to tuck into the bars on that one right there. Again, you do get two flip combos. And it can only be one trick within the middle of the flip, and they both have to be different. Double grab's definitely going to let Dill down a bit here, not being on the moon booter. And uh, the flip levers are up. These these help help the uh, rider when they do a backflip to lever onto the bike. Some guys use them, some guys don't. So let's see what Dill's got with them. What well, adventure or guess if this is going to go into the flip innovation category for him Any right flip. there. That was good, a little deep, a little deep. He's, uh, he's not going to be up there with Benny, but definitely a good run. He put down a good one. 
Yeah, again, as we go through this, there's no time clock on the runs. You just get those seven hits, and you have to execute the different categories like we talked about. So that's why you don't see these guys getting after it in between each one of the jumps. And just like you land one, go after it, adjust what you need to, and then go into it. As long as you get those seven different hits that we talked about, that's what the judges are looking for. So he's going to clock in with an 81.33. I think he should get an extra 10 points for that haircut. Though. That's pretty special. <laughs> What would you call that right there? That's not quite mullet. That's not quite. It's looks like up front, but it's not quite party in the back just yet. Looks like something out of an 80s adult film. That's very Patrick Swayze <laughs> right there. That, that, Swayze, you, you Swayze. Could be that's, an extra that's what I was looking in for. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. That is literally my favorite movie. Oh man, he's rocking the Dalton out here, Jackson. Dalton. Here we go, running through. It's. Uh, Definitely not up there with Benny's run, but again, this is Dill's rookie year, so we can uh, we're going to see more more out of him in the future, and he's uh, he's showing he's showing he's got what it takes. Yeah, coming out here in your first ever Nitro World Games and not cracking under the pressure there. Look at that! You see the Pfizer going to the fender on the way back. Huge indie flip there. That's a good thing about this next-gen ramp. It just gives you that much more time to hold the tricks longer in the air. We've got to thank uh, Travis for that one and Levi Sherwood. Okay, two down, three to go in the lineup here. This is round one out of two. Another Nitro World Games rookie. He comes out of the Gold Coast. This is Brad Burr, show writer for Showtime FMX. As uh, He also has done some appearances on the Nitro Circus live tour uh, down here in Australia and also doing some shows for the Airtime FMX team. He's maybe a rookie to Nitro World Games, but uh, no rookie to the world of freestyle motocross. Brad's actually, uh, Brad's a pretty old hand at this. I remember when I first started, Brad was there with me and we were doing a lot of riding together. And he actually owns Airtime FMX and they go to a lot of the shows uh, around Australia. So, so there's a lot of people out here that have seen Brad perform before and he's uh, definitely got some fans in the crowd. So I'm very excited. I heard in the change, I heard a little rumor that he might be sending something pretty big that he hasn't really done at all or much before. So. My eyes are going to be pretty peeled on this one, Jimmy. So they've been keeping it pretty close to the vest, but you got the inside scoop right there. So we might see something uh, outside of the norm right there for Mr. Birch. You see the boys hanging out down there in the athlete staging area. You got Adam Jones and Josh Sheehan lingering in the background right there. So looks like we're about to take a quick break right now. When we come back, we'll have our final three in the lineup here in round number one. It's freestyle motocross final here at the Nitro World Games. Beautiful downtown Brisbane, Brisbane, Queensland. Welcome back, everyone. Downtown Brisbane here in Queensland inside the Suncorp Stadium. It is the 2022 Nitro World Games. So we get set to continue freestyle motocross final as the sun sets here on the skyline and we fire up the lights to keep the party going out here. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth alongside Jackson Strong. Benny Richards got this party started. He sits at the top spot right now with a 90.66. We still have three riders to go in the lineup to wrap up this first round of runs and then we go into round number two. But coming your way right now, it is Brad Birch set to try and impress the judges here. 34 years old, out of Gold Coast. What's he got on tap for us here, Jackson? This one's gonna be exciting. We're gonna see something big out of Birch. He's gonna start it off with holy grab to double grab. Unreal, nice and clean. Brad's a really textbook rider. He seems to make everything just look smooth and easy. So coming next gen, flip levers are up. We're gonna see some sort of a flip combo. I'm gonna put my money on a KOD flip. Heel clicker, I was wrong. So there you go, he's got the right side up category box ticked right there and one of the two flip combos right there. So two hits down, five hits to go here I, and run I, one hang, for Brad. Hang on a minute here, I just saw a foot hook and he's hitting the moon booter. Could mean one of two things. 
Cliffhanger flip. Not exactly what I was expecting, Jimmy, but I think we're going to see something pretty special later in this run. That was the little bit of the teaser that you were alluding to before we went to break on that one. He's definitely teasing us right here. Okay, again, they do get two runs out here, so maybe I and that one up for run number two. Massive indie flip, nice and smooth. So there, again, Brad makes everything look really easy. So there's your two flip combos in the books right there for this first run. Did that put go on it? No, it didn't. We're running into 75. Nah, is that, does that classify as a whip? I if it whips I, it by? Yeah, that's, that goes into that whip category right there. You got the right side up one is in the books, then the whip category there. He's got the two flip combos right there. We'll see what he caps this off with here. Oh, nasty. That thing was huge. Again, that next gen just gives everyone that little bit extra time to hold them longer than what they possibly could on the, uh, on the 75. Can I see that? I, I'm looking at that foot go under. You thinking it's going to happen are in you, this run? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Jimmy? I think so. I thought maybe that one was going to get saved for best Come trick, on, but here we go. Yes! Slow, 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 slow. Ah, oh, no! Oh. And he's okay. That thing, I could tell that thing went a little slow off the lip. Just wasn't rotating quite quick enough. Hats off to Birchie. I know he hasn't practiced that. He, he came in uh, a little last minute into this thing and came in absolutely swinging. To, to not be practicing double flips every single day before the event and come out and try to do that, that's a real testament to the size of his underwear. <laughs> to do that at the end of the run, that could have been a lot worse right there. He got out of that one pretty unscathed right there and able to get up and ride away under his own power after that one. That, that's where this has evolved at these days. I mean, you can see guys crash a double backflip and still get up and take their second runs. I mean, that was insane right there. And hats off to Brad Birch. We're so lucky with the progression that Nitro brings with the, with the ramps at this event. Gives you the opportunity to, uh, to to get back up, not like uh, the 75 landing on the side. If you go down on that, you're not getting back up. You're staying there for a while. Yeah, no, that was kind of the name of the game when we started this back in 2016 with the progression was to make these resi bags and these landings to allow that creativity and progression to happen. I don't know if that one's going to... Well, in the whip category, it's going to be interesting to see where the, where the judges put that one. Kind of got a little sideways one. right there. We'll see if they dig him on that one. Oh, that was nice. Again, that next gen just makes it makes it easy for the guys to um, to be able to send it a little further. This one, oh, slow, 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 and boom. Oh, that one's going to make the highlight reel. Hey, that could have been a lot worse, though. I mean, watch what this He got out of there unscathed, down. and the bike missed him. Didn't tag him at all. Ready? He's gone under, and just happy day. He didn't want to let go. He was, he was, he was, uh, he, he wasn't throwing it away that easy. Just kind of tucked the head under the roll of that one, and then instantly gets up from that one. If he got his feet back on, that would have been something special. <laughs> so again, to get up and ride away after that one. So a 75.66 for him. That's going to leave him in that number three spot for right now. So Benny Richards, your boy, started it off with a big first run. It's got him in that top spot with that 90.66. And then Dylan McDonald sits in second. But we still got two guys left to go here in this round. And then we go back up to the top of the order. Well, this gentleman right here, he is a veteran when it comes to freestyle motocross. He's the elder statesman in the crew at 38 years old out of Reno, Nevada. And this guy's got such a deep arsenal of right side up tricks and style for miles. It's Adam Jones. Adam's been around since the beginning of time. When it comes to freestyle, he's been there and done that, been every show. He's brought lots of innovation over the years. And he's, uh, he's someone who myself and a lot of other guys grew up watching it and sparked inspiration through everyone. So they seem still out there in the field and bringing the heat, bringing a definite podium and potentially even higher than that at the top, sitting on the top of the box. It's pretty, something pretty special. So you see him giving the ride by there, getting some high fives from the fans there. He is your Nitro World Games 2018 bronze medalist in the best trick category. We didn't contest freestyle after 2017, so it's been a while since we've done an actual freestyle comp. But he is under power and starting off run number oh. one with great extension. That hit my back just looking at it, Jimmy. I don't know how he bends himself in that way. Uh, he, uh, that's just that what I was talking about, man. That's the kind of extension that he does. And again, with these, with these right side up tricks, he is the master. Into the hill quick. Got smooth. So I don't know what I was talking to one of the judges, Chuck Carruthers, and he was saying you got to do one combo on those flips. So it'll it'll be interesting to see how that gets scored. Maybe that falls in the innovation category. So Adam adjusting the flip levers there, coming around to hit number three here. We're rolling into the next gen, are we now? 
He stopped, reset. Adam's smart. He, he knows that he can take his time in this. Oh. Does it get any? Does it get any bigger extension than that? Do you think that was unreal? I mean, the pop, the boost, the hang time that you've got off of that ramp, and what it allows these guys to do in that hang time is just absolutely impressive. As is that extension out of Mr. Jones. That that was definitely special there. We're going to come around. We're coming back into the next gen 75. Double knack, that was textbook. I wonder if that one's gonna be categorized as the whip jump. I was gonna say, kind of kicked out, kind of went flatliner a little bit on that one. So I, I would say that one's gonna be the one that ticks that whip category box there. Oh, yeah, it's that. I just, yeah, it's insane how he gets... At 38 years old, he can still bend down and get his feet through the bars. I mean, a lot easier than what I can. That hurts my lower lumbar just <laughs> yeah. watching that right there. And he, again, with that dead body flip right there. I mean, he's perfectly flattened out and over the bars. And that one's sketchy because if you it, get hung up going over or coming back over the bars, that'll ruin your day real quick. Yeah, there's only one way to go if you're sitting out the front of that. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see where he sits in the... Uh, run two, we're coming back. You see him, he's kind of downplaying the run a little bit right there, Jackson. He's I like, don't think he should be downplaying. It was definitely, definitely huge, but we did not... We didn't... Uh, we saw a, a bit on the next gen ramp. We didn't see a double flip, but there was well, definitely no everything replays. else was uh, was really good. So it's gonna it, again, it's a really tough one for the judges tonight, isn't it? In you the clicker. That's at two combos in one trick. So that's gonna that's gonna do a little more for the scoring there. Adam's well versed on the moon booter ramp in the Levi because he rides Nitro tours all year round. He's one of the he's, he's a veteran of Nitro. He's there's not many shows he hasn't missed and he would have to have one of the, the higher show numbers than anyone else out there. I mean look at this. Not only is he flattened out but he arches the back as well and then still gets the feet back over the bars and does that at the end of the run there. I got a little left in the tank. So what is it going to be? We've got scores of 90.66, an 81.33, and a 75.66. <laughs> judges talking it over there in the booth talk. again. Two runs, best run counts. Judges working off a 100-point scale. 91. Jonesy going to take the top spot right there. Wow. So it's Adam Jones, Benny Richards, and Dylan McDonald. You're one, two, three as of right now, but hold on, everybody. We've got another freestyle veteran coming up right now. It is Josh Sheehan. I'm excited to see this run. I've literally got my house sitting on Josh Sheehan here, so you better do well, Josh. Well, at least starting both. off with it. Holy crap, that's definitely a very technical trick. It's a, it's a lot more technical than floating back to your grabs because the chance of uh, chance of missing your bars or tagging your front brake, or it's why you don't see many people do it. Well, he's changing it up from what we've seen out of the other guys. He's not wasting. Flatliner, that thing was huge. He's not wasting any time in between each one of these hits, and after every jump, he's turning around and acknowledging the crowd. It's like he's going for that intensity score. It's like he's at an X Fighters right now. He's a showman. Moonbitter would. Oh, one hand seat grab to double grab. Josh is one of the only guys out there that you'll see double flipping and single flipping the moon booter. It's it's a de definitely hard to to have the the control to be able to do that on the moon booter. See after every hit, he's just trying. Three sixty heel clicker, huge. I saw him do one of these in practice today, and he nearly ate it. So it's good to see him ride that one away and, and do it smooth. He's got that one in the books. We're going to see the foot hook. We're seeing the foot hook for a double flip. I'm going to go ahead and. Cool, we're gonna get a double flip combo here. I would, I would lock that blank with you. There you oh, go. Sending it. One hand already waved to the side. You gave me a wave. If it's, not, if it's not enough to do a double flip, hey, let's just uh, look, so, look, look sideways and give everyone a wave. That's the showman in him right there. I think he was pointing at the judges and saying, just make sure you're watching this, guys. He's pandering to the crowd and making sure that the judges have all eyes on him. And look at the oh, extension. Josh has been doing that trick for a long time and it really shows there. Absolute textbook. So Sheeny's like, come on, where's right the wide. noise at out there? Look at him in between each one of these hits every single time. Just pandering to everyone here We're in the stadium. We're going into the main bit. We're seeing a double flip combo here again, for sure. What have we got, Joshy? Huge. No, Andrew stood up when he let go. He knows exactly where he's in the air. He's got so much aerial awareness. Again, he's an old hand at this, and it definitely makes it look easy. It's just crazy to me to see that. 
in the middle of a double back look. I'm getting the hands off and just like you said, standing up just full extension and just casually hanging that one out like it's nothing. And he just showed a little burn out there. That's the uh, Donny Brook bogan coming out in him. <laughs> That run was full in a centipede sock draw. It was really something special. It's like he's he, it's like he's at a show right now. He's just playing this off like a show. He's going for more. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should have blurred that one, Jimmy, but... That was the Bilko special right there, <laughs> throwing the worm out there. I don't know, but this guy's having a blast right now. He, he should have some sort of, like, sport ambassador award right now. He is having the best time out here. Out of anybody little, we've seen in any of these comps here tonight. <laughs> little more, a uh, little more history on Josh. He was the first guy in 2015, and the only guy I might have had to do a triple backflip. And he's obviously left his glasses at home. Give it a hit. Yep, they're back. We're on. And uh, yeah, the only guy in the world to ever do a triple backflip. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there is rumors that that is going to change tonight. So we may see history written here tonight inside the Suncorp Stadium. Look at him just going off at the camera right there. He is hamming it up. See how long he held that and stood up? That makes the trick so much more difficult when you get separation between yourself and the motorcycle because it slows the rotation, makes it harder to get back on, but somehow Josh makes it look easy. Little point to the judges there. How's the energy on him? He's excited, isn't he? That is that, an understatement. That one there is something special. Josh is really well versed on these ramps as well. He spends a lot of time touring Nitro with live shows, so he's, he's right at home. I mean, just the overall intensity throughout that entire run right there. You saw everybody else just kind of cruising through after every hit, not him. And there was the bonus. That that's, got to be a, that's got to be a bonus. It's just why not? I mean, isn't that the whole point behind 95, all this? 95, yeah, Joshy. That's gonna, it's gonna be very, very hard for anyone to contend with that. So round one is in the books. We have three scores in the 90s, and it's Josh Sheehan in that top spot with a 95 flat, followed by Adam Jones with a 91. And then how about Benny Richards getting this party started with that 90.66? So that is your top three as of right now, but we still have one more round of runs still to come. It is the best run that counts out here tonight in this FMX final here. Nitro World Games 2022, but uh, how about those scores? Right? I'm pretty pumped for Benny, man, to come out first guy out of the gate, put that run down. I mean, expect that out of Adam and Josh, but Benny really impressed me here. I think that Benny can maybe slide that up one more notch if he does everything a little cleaner and bigger. All right, before we get to that second final round, let's check in one more time with Caroline Buchanan. We're down here with Chad Reed himself. He's with his family. You need no introduction, but very fitting timing. We're in the middle of FMX. Can you talk us through this setup and how hyped you are to be here? Yeah, it's crazy. I actually had surgery two weeks ago in Brisbane, and uh, so I'm actually here for not all the right reasons, but as it worked out, the event was delayed, and we were able to come from Melbourne up to here. And uh, anytime that there's dirt bikes and some form of action sports, the Reed family are all in to watch it and support it, you know, and uh, yeah, no, it's really cool. It's amazing to be here and get to see these boys do, do their thing. And we love having you here. Thank you so much, Chad Reed. Give it up, everybody. So there you go. Celebrity guest star in the house out here. Did not expect that one out here, but uh, Chad Reed, welcome to the party out here at the 2022 Nitro, Nitro World Games. We're happy to have you. So here we go go we're going into round two but uh we're being told by sports and comp that only two gentlemen are going to take their second run here in this second and final round everybody else is pretty happy with those runs so uh it's going to be brad birch uh Sheeny's going to have the option uh, if he wants to take it right now we're being told that only two guys want to go here in round number two so uh brad birch gets to start us off here in the second and final round. He finds himself in that number five spot with that 75.66. But again, going back to what happened in round number one, you got to give the man credit, trying to throw a double backflip at the end of his first run. Yeah, Brad, uh, he's definitely, um, he's definitely wants this. You can see it in his eyes right there. He had a Barry Crocker on that first double flip. So hopefully, if I know Brad as well as I do, I know he's going to send it again. Did you see that kid in the stands behind him right there and that uh, leg cast right there? He wanted that double back as well. Here we go. He's under power. Holy run. grab, double grab. Run number two underway Text here. Textbook, flip levers up, coming into the next gen ramp. Are we going to see a hill clicker flip, same as the first run? 
That's just what I was about to ask you. Do you think he keeps the same line and tries to do it at the end? Or do we change it up a little bit? There you go. You called it the heel clicker flip here in attempt number two, or hit number two, I should say. I think Brad's going to keep it the same. To change the run, you've, you've done it in your head over and over in the change rooms leading into the event. So to change it this late in the game is just too hard. I think he's going to try and stick it this time, and, and that's definitely going to push him up a little bit. Perfect cliffhanger. It's so hard to straight to do right side up tricks on that Levi ramp because it just kicks on the uh, moon bitter, sorry, it just kicks you different. Yeah, you can see sometimes on those right side up tricks the way it's just, it, it's almost like you have to really put yourself in that mindset to just hang on longer than you would on a traditional ramp. And Brad's just resetting here. I think we're going for an indie flip it was last time. Huge floats off. He's got lots of style. He's, uh, he, he makes everything look smooth. He's an easy one to watch. We're going in for the upright knack here. Perfect. The guys have to do one trick in their run that resembles a whip. The bike's got to move sideways off axis, and uh, and that's what Brad's done right there. My memory serves me correctly, Jimmy. We're going to see a KOD flip here coming up. That's the one, and then at the end, see so you get another. There oh, you go. He served that thing on a platter, and everyone's about to be on the edge of the seat. Is this going? For this, this is it. We're going to see the foot hook in. And Brad's got to pull this thing harder than he did last time. Pull it harder than he ever has before. There we go. Is We're he lining up. The double this time around, trying to best them. No. Ah, we didn't see it. He must have been feeling good running into that. Unfortunately, he uh, he didn't get the double. But it's going to slip him up a spot, I believe. So a 75.66 in run number one. He elects to not go for the double here in run number two. But I mean, he was so close on that last one. And to, to, to echo what I said earlier, I mean, to bounce off of one of those on a double and then get back up and be able to take a second run, uh, that's where we're at these days oh, in the world of freestyle one. motocross. Although he's up and, and smiling there, I guarantee that he's hurting. It could not have felt good what he did before, oh, so. We take a look back here at run at number two here for Mr. Birch. He's definitely hoping for something else there, I think, Jimmy. It was, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough one for him to swallow there. I think that's going to push him up a spot, though. Everything else he did was nice and smooth, and, and everything seemed to flow. So I would have liked to see a double flip. I know you would have. Yeah, but again, to finish out the whole oh. run and not have a crash at the end, that should improve the score right there. Good for him to get a run on the board. That KD flip was huge. So it is an improvement in 83 flat right there. So that is going to overtake Dylan McDonald right there. So that'll slide him into that number four spot. But again, good on him right there. That is Brad Birch finishing out in second place. And it comes down to Adam Jones here. Because as I said, we're being told that uh, only Brad and Adam uh, want to take their second runs. Everybody else pretty happy with how things played out in that opening round. But uh, the good news is, you're going to get another seven hits to eye up the style and wizardry of Adam Jones. And uh, I'm going to get you to walk this plank, Jackson. Uh, we got that LEGO Innovation Award. Who do you think would be a standout based off what we've seen thus far to get that LEGO Innovation Award in FMX tonight? The Innovation Award's going to be a tricky one tonight, Jimmy. I think one of the most special tricks we've seen this evening was Sheeny doing that double backflip no-hander and standing up and getting some separation between him and the bike. I know he's talking about it today, how he wants to stand up and get some real separation, and we're into Adam. Look at that. That might be something for innovation there. I think they call that the uh, the dead body Paris Hilton. I don't know why they call it that. Number two, we're going to see a whip trick here. Into the heel clicker flip again. That's those two combos there in one trick, so that's that's got to mean something for the judging. So a little bit of a change up here in the second run to start it off. What's he got here? Rolling into hit number three. Into the, into the next gen. Double grab flip. Smooth as silk. Smooth as you like it. Adam's so well versed on these ramps and he knows exactly the speeds and the angles of everything. And also a well versed comp rider. He knows to take his time here. Yeah, again, with no time clock right there, you don't have to rush anything. Perfect cliffhanger flip. I mean, that's... Doing that trick on that ramp is huge. He's, he's miles above. His feet slip off there. He's going to... Um, 
you might you'd be definitely slipping somewhere else. I mean, that thing just mm -hmm. sends you into the rafters right there. And it, you know, there's nothing tentative. I mean, the extension is there, and everything is just absolutely smooth, dialed, and perfect. I don't think this is. Um, I don't think this one's gonna gonna challenge Sheeny. There's no um, no double flip there, but he he's just he's just here showing us all what he can do and how smooth he can ride and. Uh, and, and for how long he's been doing it. I mean, this guy's oh. been in the game forever. And how flexible he is, too. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there we go. go. Another dead body flip right there out of Adam Jones. But again, going back to what Sheehan did in that first run right there. He had the double backflip with the no-hander. I mean, you had a 360 out of Josh in that first run right there. And that's why he's in that top spot with a 95. So FMX final is in the books right there. But how about two great runs out here tonight right. by Adam now Jones. That was all I had. That's it. That was good. We're going to see a little more, more, little more than I'm 91 out of that one. He threw it in Indy on the dead body there earlier. And uh, that one felt good. Stoked. There, that's it. That's that's uh, definitely throwing a little extra spice on it. Adam's the only guy that can do them that big. Adam goes out there and he's, he's all about innovation. He's doing different tricks to every rider. He's doing different tricks on different ramps. So he's, uh, he brings his own little spice to everything, doesn't he? I don't know how he manages to get his feet through there so well. I mean, I've seen him do that time and time again in competitions as well in the Nitro Circus shows and even at demos as well. 91.66, yeah. that's good. He threw himself up a little bit. Well done, Adam. So Definitely making use of his second run. Oh, is Sheeny gonna take a second run now? I think Sheeny's taking a victory lap. Oh, he we, had the goggles on just in case. We got told that only Brad and Adam were gonna take their second runs, but he's he's all geared up. He's down there in the start gate. Looks like he's gonna go anyway. So uh, this is going to be a victory lap if he in fact does elect to take this second run. And it looks like this is the bonus, the 2.0 here in the FMX final, if you will. <laughs> Come on, Josh. <laughs> I think we might see another uh, Another Bilko pumper coming out of here. The old, the old Bilko worm, if you will. He can whip too. He's a he's a big contender for best whip, whip contest. He's at the top of the uh, the X Games best whip every year. So, so again, it's, it's just <laughs> double flip. Is it? He's not quite sure what he's doing. He's having a good time. Is he, what he's doing right now. He's probably forgot he's like where a, he's forgot where he was. So he's, he's like asking a, the crowd what he should do, and I think they've come back with double flip. He's taking requests. He's like a little kid out there right now. He's just having an absolute blast. The little fist pump on the way around, just to show, just to show that it wasn't hard enough already. That's how easy the double backflip is for that guy, because you can play around and have some fun with it in the middle of that rotation two times around. He would have, Josh would have done the, uh, <laughs> I've seen Josh <laughs> nearly crash goon riding more times than doing something hard. But Josh is one of the, uh, probably the best double flipper in the world, I'd say. He's done more double flips than anyone else, without a doubt. And uh, Fracker, the mechanic says, he's got, he, he's got the bike for him, so Josh can, um, he's like, what have done. we got? A little dance, some streaking maybe. Saying hello to the fans, well done, Josh. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever seen him throw up the old long dart fender slap right there. <laughs> I've yeah. seen it too many times, and I've seen it nearly cartwheel too many times I've, as well. I've seen some people playing around before, and sometimes those things come back to bite you when you're out there just having some fun. But how about the night Josh Ian has had out here this evening? Podium one, two, three. I would have liked to see Benny run a, do a second run there. I think he had a little more in the tank. I was curious to see because you kind of teed that up a little bit. You said he was going to bump up, and I wanted to see another go at it right there. But let's take a look at some highlights of our top three finishers here in the FMX final. That trick there, if you miss your grab, you're, um, you're winding the windows down for a long time. The only guy out there doing 360s as well, and he throws in a 360 heel picker. Double flip, no hand art. And there you go, having some fun and putting on a show for good measure right there. With the old Bilko jump. Let's send it down to Caroline Buchanan with our winner. We're down here with Josh Sheehan, also known as Sheeny, the winner of FMX. This is your first time. Talk us through what this event means to you and winning in front of an Aussie crowd. 
Yeah, look, the Aussie crowd is the best. Absolutely love riding in front of a home crowd, but it, it's been a couple of years and, and I've, I've yet to win either best trick or a freestyle at World Games. So absolutely stoked. Thank you, Brisbane, so much. Thanks for, thanks for coming back on a Monday. The, the weekend's weather was terrible, but thank you all for coming back. I love it. So thanks for everyone that made it happen. They want to know if you're going to do a shoey to celebrate in true Aussie form. <laughs> oh. Have you, can I borrow your shoe? I'm going to wear this again. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. What do you have to say about the triple flip? You're the first to land it. The boys are going to go down tonight. What's your thoughts? I'm really excited. Uh, firstly, because I don't feel the nerves now that they'll be feeling. But secondly, I knew this day would come eventually with, with the advancement of technology, the inflatable landings. Like Things just get uh, safer now. And, We've tested so many different ramps. We were on another ramp that was twice this high and it just it wasn't safe enough. But finally, the boys, are, they're getting so close that they're looking good. I'm excited. And uh, you guys are in for one hell of a show. So yeah, but bring it on. Hopefully they both land it. Uh, I'm rooting for both of them. Congratulations. Give it up for Sheeny. Thank you. He was so casual about that. We were that close to getting a Sheeny shoey right there, but I like how he just looked through Caroline under the bus and was like, can I borrow your shoe? I still got to wear this <laughs> later on. He's, he's still got best trick to come, so he doesn't want to be sludging around in a, uh, a smelly. He's, his Nobody boots, wants a soggy boot when you're out there. His boots smell enough already, trust <laughs> me. Yeah, just, you know, he kind of teased up what we were talking about earlier at that triple backflip attempt coming up. But that's best trick, and that's the last event of the night. FMX final is in the books, but how about your boy Benny starting it off? He finds himself on the podium with a 90.66. Adam Jones, the veteran and elder statesman in the group, walks out with second place. But it's Josh Sheehan finds himself in the top spot on the podium here at Nitro World Games in the FMX final. We're getting ready to send it back down to the floor once again with Micah Kranz for our awards presentation. An absolutely amazing contest. Again, pushing action sports is what Nitro World Games is all about. It's my honor to bring you Freestyle Motocross Podium. In third place, landing one of his first double backflips in front of people. Can I get some noise for Ben Richards? Our next rider has been fighting retirement, but this should tell him where he stands in freestyle motocross. From Reno, Nevada, give it up for the legend, Adam Jones! And our FMX Finals champion. You know him, you love him. We call him the unicorn. Give it up for Josh Sheehan! Make some noise for our podium. rider of the night with one of the coolest tricks, the backflip dead body. Make some noise for Adam Jones, Lego City Innovation. Back to you guys. So there you go, your FMX final presented by Lego City. Benny Richards, Adam Jones, Josh Ian, and then Adam Jones walking out of here with that Lego Innovation Award there, Jackson. That was good. I, that was a, a good pick there. And um, I thought we, we were going to see Josh Sheen take the only crash to the night. They're trying to get up on top of the thing. He's, uh, you definitely don't need a long neck to be a goose, do you? <laughs> Not at all. Sheeny's no stranger to the FMX podium out here at Nitro World Games. The first year we contested it in 2016. He walked out of here, I believe, it was second place, which it was, and then he got third place in 2017, and now he finds himself in the top spot here in 2022. Your winner out here. How's he ever made that Lego City trophy he needs to be sitting on the podium as well? That thing's something special. I know, that thing's... Uh, Adam's gonna have to pay some access baggage to get that thing on the flight <laughs> home back to Reno, Nevada right there. 